What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Alexis Maurice, and... You know, you know, you know, your boy, Trey Hollywood. And it's time for a new episode of Hollywood Happening. So go ahead and pour yourself a glass of wine, mm -hmm. which is what I'm pouring here. And I'm going to pour Trey some, too. No, I don't know, no, no, because I got the other kind. Oh, you want the red? I want the red, yeah. Well, I'm drinking Pinot Grigio today, and he's going to be drinking sweet red this, uh, to this evening. Put on some lipstick and pull yourself together as we discuss the latest happenings in Hollywood. Hollywood. We've missed you guys. It's been yeah. a week since, well, actually, what, two weeks now since we've recorded. It's my fault. Last week I just wasn't feeling too good. But let's go ahead and get into what's going on. What are we leading off with today, Trey? I want to go ahead and get Keisha Cole out the way. She's back at it again. Oh my gosh. She's dramatic. I, I just really think that she really just does not like Destiny's Child. I, I don't know what her problem is. Let's go ahead and let me read the tweet yes, that was it. heard around the world, okay? <laughs> so this is what Ke um this is what Keisha Cole had to say. First, women need to stick together. Now bitches better bow. Shake my head, but it's all G. Chicks, they shooting the shit, but when I speak my mind, it's a problem. Pound well, pound stay mad. In that situation, I think the only one that's really mad is her. Yeah. Keisha Cole, you, you seem very bitter, honey. You seem very, very bitter um, at the success of Beyonce, at the success of Michelle, at the success of... Kelly, um, Kelly Rowland, and then you yourself, you lack success. You know, overall, you just lack success. Um, I don't know how well your album's doing, but I don't see it anywhere on the Billboard charts. Maybe it is. No, I just not. don't see it anywhere at the top of the Billboard charts. Maybe it's somewhere down there, but um, your mom's a crackhead. Oh. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and go in, okay? Because you go have ahead. the nerve to try to talk about people. Now, I'm not one to... I, I, I mean, personally, I, I see where you're coming from when you say at first, um, you know, girls run the world, girls, girls, all that stuff, you know, reuniting and all of that jazz. And then all of a sudden, Beyonce comes out with a song telling bitches to bow down. So I understand where you're coming from because there's no consistency in the message that she's sending. However, what gives you the right to even vocalize your opinion about anything Beyonce does. You two are not even on the same level. Not even the same world. Yeah, not, not even the, the same orbit. Right. Beyonce is like peanut butter and jelly. Mm hmm And Keisha Cole is like molded bread. Like the bread that nobody even just buys. Nobody wants it. No. You know that crusted bread that's just dry and it choke you slightly choke on it just a little bit. You know, when you're eating it. I'm just really disturbed. Why you keep coming for these girls? These girls ain't There's Christian again. That's Christian. Shut up! Like, what's the problem? Right. Calm down. Well, Christian just went for a visit, guys, and this is his first day back, and he's showing out already. But, <laughs> Keisha Cole, I'm over you, honey. But since we're on the topic of Keisha Cole and Beyonce and Bow Down, how do you feel about Beyonce's song? What do you call those tracks? What do you call the release of it? Buzz it's singles. Buzz single. But what I found out is that this is really not a buzz single. It's really just promo for her tour. Yeah. Um, it's kind of, I heard that it. it's like the intro and the outro of the album. So I'm hearing mixed things. Me personally, um, it's kind of hard for me to really give feedback on this song because I really, I don't, I, honestly, I like, I think I like what she's saying, mm -hmm. but um, I don't really care for it because... Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know the message. I, it's I a little know. different for Beyonce. The song itself, it, yeah. to me, it sounds a little bit more hip hop ish. It's his Texas. Yeah, it's real, that's what I keep hearing. Is real Texan Houston baby, mm -hmm. you know all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And then you got the whole chop and screw, yeah. you know, version of the other song. It just wasn't. I, I don't know. First hearing it, mm -hmm. second time hearing it, mm -hmm. third time hearing it, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know. So I don't know how I feel. Um, about the whole Beyonce bow down. I'm a lyric type of person and I like some of the lyrics because I like how she said you think I'm his little wife or something like that. I mean, I, I mean that, was, that was cool, but I just don't know how I really feel about it. It's, I'm not really a big fan of it. Um, I, I'm really hoping that it's really not any type of single type shit. I really mm -hmm. just hope that it really is just an intro or outro or either like just to promo for the tour. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll see what happens with that. Speaking of new music, let's talk about my buddy JT. So I went 
Trey has a complex against JT. I, I don't know, know why. I you know, know. Trey's a woman. brought that? The Caucasian and Trey and JT is actually the Caucasian. So I don't know what the <laughs> you know what what the problem is. Maybe he's a little jealous or whatever because JT's a little you bit more wider. Than it. Yes, I, the reason now normally I'll just go to iTunes right. and you know download. You actually brought but the reason I bought it was because this was at Target. It had two extra bonus tracks on it, dress on and body count, wow. and the two songs were cute. Okay, like. JT, see this. once again, you've done a phenomenal job with the album. The album is really, really good. This is the only thing I don't like about JT. Is JT sounds like he can't make up his mind when it comes to his songs. So it's like every song has like two versions to the song. Mm -hmm. So when it first comes on, it's this way, three minutes in, and then the last two minutes it changes beats or it just changes completely. So I don't, you know, I don't get it, but I love it because it's like I get a regular song and I get a remix to it too. Right. So that's what I like the most about JT's album. But the songs on it, I mean, you got Push a Lover Girl, which is the song that he did on the. Love um, that song. Um, what's the. Um, the Grammys. The Grammys mm -hmm. or whatever. Like the soul version. Oof. You know, the song is hot. Suit and Tie, Don't Hold the Wall. Don't Hold the Wall is really, really good. Strawberry Bubblegum, I love that I song. I about Spaceship. Spaceship Coop, that's cute too. Tunnel Vision, I like Tunnel Vision. That Girl, Let the Groove Get In, Mirrors, Blue Ocean Floor. The whole album is good. It's a really groove album. So all of you, go get JT's album when you're traveling home for Easter to go visit mom and dad and grandma this upcoming Sunday. Just listen to the album the whole way through. It's good. Timberland did a lot of the tracks, if not all of them. I think all of them. Oh, Those whatever. Yeah. yeah, Tim, you know, the, the, the album is fire. So Keisha Cole... Ashanti, Sierra, this is how you do it. This is how you make an album. If you're having any problems, go hook up with Tim. Let me tell you about a couple He's things. He's always successful. Well, this is a couple things that I've heard about the album. Um, two things. I heard that first week sale was um, was supposed to be about 900000 So he's already almost platinum. Yeah. And I also heard, I don't know if it was E! Hollywood or Access Hollywood, that actually stated that supposedly this album was released just to fulfill his contract that he had that he had with RCA. Yeah. So I mean that's 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 big, you know. I mean if this is just out of obligation. Yeah, I think that, that's what I go out with the bang. I don't know if he shit. But like the thing news. about it is I'm I'm looking here according to E News, they were reporting that Justin actually already has plans for volume two of the twenty twenty experience to come out in November right. of this year. I don't know what that's all about. You know, I, I really hate when artists do that. They have one album out and then they turn around and release another album later on that year. That's Rihanna right. does it. That's what Keisha Cole doing. Yeah, that that just really that that's that just I don't know that just aggravates me. Just wait and put it all out at the same time. I mean, I know bitches got to eat. And bitches that's why got I, to make money. That's why I don't like all like that. ten tracks on it. The other ten probably of the yeah. Like I think didn't Beyonce do that before? Not Beyonce. No, she had like a B Day and a B Day Deluxe Edition. Like and um, then Destiny's Child did something like it, just Nicki, stupid Nicki Minaj. Stuff. Nicki Minaj. Like then, yeah. She did that as well. Hey, or if, whatever. It, if it works for you, can, yeah. Can but shout it. out to JT. JT, the album is. Fantastic. Trey's just jealous. No, I'm not really jealous. You're wider than he is, so that's all the problem. No, he's a biracial. His hair is wider than mine, but I'm he's different. I'm definitely Don't do that. Don't come for JT. Just he's so smooth and cool. That's why I don't even like Kanye came for him too. It's cool, but I just I don't know. It's just like the hype of it is just blown. Go ahead. Move along. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What you got for me? Oh, we're gonna slow it down a little bit. We're gonna talk about real. Mm-hmm. I don't know if y'all remember who real. Yeah, real from um I love New York. Yes, yes. Yeah. You know, him and his brother, everybody Chance. love Real. Everybody loved yeah. Chance. But Real was the one with the long hair, the long, beautiful hair. Mm -hmm. um, recently, we found out that he is, um, he's sick. Yeah. He's sick. According to reports, it does report that um, he found out that he had stage four colon cancer, mm. which is a cancer that's really not seen into many um, African-American males until like their early 50s. Right, right, right. Um, but he found out that he has colon cancer in stage four. From what I was reading in the reports was saying it was that real um was having some real bad stomach cramps, mm -hmm. thought it was a stomach virus, mm -hmm. kept having issues, going back to the doctors, doctors can't find anything, uh, keep going back, keep going back, he started coughing up blood, and come to find out what happened was they found out that he had stage four. It, you know, can't it, for those of you who know family members or have dealt with cancer, cancer really deals with it comes in five stages. And right. so he was almost on the cusp of that very, very last stage. So I thought that was terrible. 
Um, so definitely my prayers are going out to real. Um, we did find out that they do have a fund set up in his name uh, because the insurance only covers about 40% of his medical treatment. So. Yeah. so basically his family, they have set up a fund. It's actually with Chase Bank. Mm -hmm. And what they're doing is they're asking that, you know, if you want to help donate, to please donate funds, any type of money, how much you can. Mm -hmm. And I will read you out the um, account numbers. And for all you stunt queens, don't be going to try to write them checks off these people um, um bank account because that is not cute. Go ahead. At all. The account number with Chase Bank is 407-662-563. And the name on the account is Cancer Funds for Real. So if you all can like, just reach in your pocket, your hearts or whatever, and just really help this man out. You know, we don't know him except for what we know on TV, but on yeah. TV, he was a great guy. Yeah. He was a great guy. He wasn't a jerk like his brother, which his brother might have just been kind of like... It was just for TV. For TV. It was just for TV. TV. Mm -hmm. But we definitely want to reach out and help him. My prayers are definitely out to the guy. Yes. We're praying for you, guy. I hope everything works out. What else we got? Uh, God, you know, I'm just really dying to talk about this. Um, Omarosa, I'm really dying to talk Shout about Shout out to Latoya Jackson. I love you. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Amorosa has changed, legally changed Latoya, Latoya Jackson's name to Lie. <laughs> Lie Latoya. <Toya. laughs> um, <laughs> she said that on Wendy Williams. Go to Wendy Williams' YouTube page and watch the clip. It was so funny. <laughs> She's basically suing her because, like, Latoya has really, like, been going around, like, just saying really bad things about the show. If you don't know what show I'm talking about, we're talking about Celebrity Apprentice, the All Star Edition. And Latoya just really went on, went on, went on voice to say that. Um, Rosa probably was the, 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 the plug puller. Bitch, she pulled a plug. She cashed out. She cashed out. All the way out. And she pulled a plug on Michael Clark Duncan. And now she's using his dad to come back up. You know, to get, get her come up child. And all kind of stuff like that. I saw the, you saw the interview with mm -hmm. um, Rosa and Wendy. I saw the interview with LaToya and Wendy. It was, it was just that small. But you have to go watch the clip of Omarosa and LaToya getting into it on the oh Celebrity Apprentice. It's hilarious. Or oh, whatever. Um, LaToya said, Omarosa, I am not afraid of you. <laughs> you are not going to bully me. I am not afraid. And it's, you know, the same thing with her and Nene. Right. When Nene, her and Nene got into it right. um, a long time ago. Nene told uh, LaToya, go in somewhere in the corner and hide. Just go hide. And LaToya peep around the corner like this. <laughs> it was hilarious, but... Yeah, basically Latoya is going around telling everybody that Amarosa pulled the plugs, and now Amarosa is um, she's filing a, is it defamation? Not, yes, is it defamation of character? Mm -hmm. She's filing a suit against Latoya for the things that she says, and she feels that Latoya must be held accountable. And if you all don't for those who things, Michael Clark Duncan is he was basically the the, the big guy from Green Mile, mm -hmm. from the Green right. Mile, right? Yeah. And they were actually Omarosa and him were actually going to be getting married. Yeah. So this is why it's really affecting Omarosa. She's not being dramatic like she's always on these shows. She's really just feeling like like Latoya is really not respecting the deceased and not really respecting her as a person because that she really she says she really loved that man. Yeah, that's she what she really says. Him. So it's quite sad, but you know, Omarosa, let it go, honey. People say mean things about people all the time. We can't just go around filing suits every time someone says something. You know, Latoya was upset. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, she should she probably shouldn't have said it, but she said it. Mm -hmm. But what is you know, what is filing the suit going to do? Well, what gets me is that she sit here and she says that, you know, res respect the deceased. But she also also brought up Latoya and brought up Michael. My, right, because she did that on the Wendy clip. She was right. like, you know, well, Latoya said, didn't say these or said these right. things about Michael Jackson. So, so you're, you're yeah, it's like you're doing tit for tat now. Right, right, right. Latoya is a sweet, 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 sweet young lady. I and love she her. Is. She's so hilarious. And she's just so delicate, <laughs> like a little flower. Oh, not a flower. And all that what good kind of stuff flower? like that. I don't know, a little... Like a little lily or oh, something like that. Like a little peace, delicate. peace lily. <laughs> um, so yeah, Omarosa, go ahead and drop that lawsuit, girl. Just yeah. let it go. Just let it go. Um, I do want to talk about um, Little Wayne. So in case you guys didn't know, he died and came back <laughs> probably last week sometime. You know, I, people on Twitter and these social networks kill me when they be trying to kill off people. Like seriously, so Luane, you know, had a, he went into a coma. Oh, <laughs> what? Well, he died and came back, according to Twitter. Sources say, according to Twitter, according to Facebook, according to Instagram, according to Tumblr, according to these non-credible sources. 
you know, people saying he dead, and then I look on his uh, Twitter account, he's tweeting, I'm fine, everyone, or whatever. So, somebody said that was fake, like that really wasn't even tweeted. Like, somebody actually tweeted yesterday. But he, he just got, re he was released from the hospital, and then he's announced the whole America's Most Wanted tour with him and Future and T.I., hey. you know, coming out hey. this summer and mm -hmm. all kind of stuff like that. So, you know, I'm just glad, praise be to God, that you have recovered. The only thing I'm going to ask that you do, Lil Wayne. Slow down. Slow down, man. If the people are giving you medications to take, you can't mix that medication with, with all of the other recreational things that you do. Notice I didn't say drugs. Trey said it. I didn't say drugs. it. I'm your friend, okay? So, drugs. <laughs> stop mixing it and start, you know, taking care of yourself. People want to hear your music. People want to see you skateboard and fall off and break your arms and knuckles. Mm -hmm. And people want to see you do crazy things and stuff like that. So, take care of yourself. Do what the doctors take. That's one thing about black people. Black people don't like going to the doctor. And they don't like doing what the doctor tells them to do. Do what it's the doctor ridiculous. is telling you to do. But I'm glad to hear that... Um, that you have been released from the hospital. Only thing I ask is you do take care of yourself. What else you got? <laughs> Drugs. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, we all know. I mean, I'm excited about it. You ain't really all that excited about it. The game. The new season premiere. Comes out. The game. Starts back Tuesday. Yeah. March the 26th. Mm -hmm. When our premiere. I need you to laugh enough about that. I got really hyped about it because you know everybody know I love Brandy. Rihanna. Norwood. And she's on it as Chardonnay, you know? I'm very excited. <laughs> How ghetto. Chardonnay. <laughs> but isn't her role ghetto? And she plays it. I'm gonna name my daughter Moscato. <laughs> you gonna name your Pinot Grigio. <laughs> <laughs> and we all gonna have a party. <laughs> right. We're gonna have a wine tasting. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho. Anywho, the game does start back this week, Tuesday. Mm -hmm. um, it's gonna be one hour premiere. It's I know what, season six? No mm -hmm. more, no more, no more Durin. No more Melanie. But aren't they supposed to be making guest appearances? I think that I've, I've seen Durin on there, like, some stuff. I don't know if he's supposed to be special surprise or if he's just going to be, you know. I remember when it when it was first released that they, they were quitting or they were being there. released from the contract, whatever it was. That was sad for a lot of people. That um, they were saying that they still were going to be seen sometimes throughout the season um, with special guest spots and stuff like that. So Sierra's going to be on there. Special. Who? Sierra. Why? Hey, she's branching out. Reaching out. We just reaching out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I don't want to see Sierra <laughs> so, on the game. So you're going to miss that episode? Yeah, I'm going to purposely miss that episode and encourage everyone to not watch it. <laughs> she can't sing. She can dance. She can so dance. go be someone's maybe backup she's dancing. dancer. Maybe she's dancing. Why, yeah, maybe she needs to do a reality show where she's opening up a dance school for underprivileged girls. Sierra, you better listen to that. Yeah, open up a dance school for underprivileged girls and just teach hip hop wait, and shit like wait, that. Why underprivileged though? Because that's the thing to do. You know, you always reach out to the underprivileged. Reaching children. out. Just reaching out. <laughs> okay, right, okay. exactly. <laughs> so, you know, girl, go ahead and cash out of your music career because it's done. It is done. I'm looking forward to her album. Why? Her and Ashanti. Yeah, I ain't we about call Ashanti. them the Battle of the Flops. We're going to see who album's going to flop the worst Ashanti. when it actually. I hope she pushes it. And she had a new song out, right? Maybe the thing <laughs> came out today, and you know what? <laughs> I listened to it, and I was going to buy it just for. Just Sources to you know feedback on it, but I listen. I you know iTunes now give you like at least a minute or something to listen to the thing. That shit. Is we wet. should pitch a new show to who would we give it to? Maybe VH1 mm -hmm. for struggling artists trying to you know reboot their careers. Who who would we cast on the show? We would sh we would cast Olivia. Sierra. I don't really Olivia. see Olivia. <laughs> Olivia from Love and Hip Hop. We would put um, Olivia. I don't even know who that is. You know, the 10 Reasons. Yeah, I don't know who that is. So, Olivia, Sierra, um, who else did we say? Stop! No one knows that song. Stop! <laughs> no, people know that song. That's Olivia. You know, Olivia was the girl. Oh, no, okay, come on, Trey, focus. My bad. Olivia, actually was Olivia. Sierra, <laughs> Nivia, Ashanti. How many cast members are we doing? Let's do six. So, that's four. Who else? Who else would y'all put on? The, Please let us know. On the reboot of yeah, we gonna call it like struggling the up on the come up. No. The come up on the up come. No. My life trying to get back. <laughs> we are climbing Jacob's ladder. <laughs> the struggle. Right. The struggle. struggle. That's the name of the new VH1 show. The
the struggle. struggle. We need two. two we can we can put two boys on there. Who else will we put on there? Nobody really knows. Oh, Marion. No, he, he. I mean, he's doing pretty good. Well, he's on. Um, Bow Wow. Bow Wow. No, but Bow Wow's the he acts. Bow Wow don't what well, he does. He he don't have. He's it. on 106 in Park, right? The shade. He just never released a damn album. He got to go to one of six. What ever happened to his album that he was promoting like a lot? Did it come yeah, out? Yeah, because he was going on tour and that never really happened. Yeah, what? Bow Wow, girl, what happened? What happened to your album? Yes, the girls ran. But wait a minute, we got okay. So two more people. We want you guys to tweet us or Facebook us or and comment on the know, video or comment on the video. Who would you like to see on the new VH1 reality TV show, The, the Struggle? Struggle. <laughs> okay, and these are artists. Who are trying to come back out and launch their careers all over again? That's gonna be fun. Cause we got Ashanti. Ashanti. I'm, really, I'm kind of hesitant. I'm gonna fix with Sierra. I don't really. No, she needs to be on there. She has earned the right. Cause she sucks. Sierra, Sierra, Olivia, Ashanti, Nivia, and we need two more cast people. So tweet us. Comment on the video, Agent Pisces on Twitter. Forever Trader number four ever, T R E I. On Twitter, and let us know who you guys would like to see, and then maybe, you know, based off your comments, we can mention that on the next episode of Hollywood Happenings. Um, speaking of um, new TV shows, mm -hmm. so last night, saw Real Housewives of Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Next mm -hmm. week is the season finale. Um, I was trying to tell someone that the season finale was next week. Yeah, it's like, next no, week. Still and yeah. it's going to be Kenya's like big costume party that she's having. And right. We're obviously seeing some drama. Um, things are starting to turn up I just a little that. bit. What you call it? The two men were arguing. Yeah, the two men were arguing. Um, so that's going off. And then we have the reunion show. I didn't catch um, Watch What Happens Live with Andy last night because they did a, like a preview of the reunion show. Mm -hmm. And from what every, judging by everyone's tweets, it's supposed to be really, really hot. But Bravo launched a new TV show last night, Jeez. Married to Medicine. I changed the channel with the own. Um, and out. let me just say, the TV show, the for the premiere, it was just shy of 2 million viewers last night. Wow. So we have these doctors and or doctors' wives out of the great city of Atlanta. Um, you that's have why, Dr. Why, why, why. Jackie, you have Quad, you have this bull chick named Toya, you got... Um, Any lesbians? No, Mariah, Carrie. you have this ice queen named Carrie, honey. She is something else. She's the only white girl. I saw a lot of people talking about Quad. Quad is very ghetto. She's very, very ghetto, but... That name is ghetto. She's from um, Tennessee. Child, t from what? Memphis. Yeah, Memphis, Tennessee. She's from, and the way they talk, like, Memphis is straight hood, girl. I don't know what kind of things or shenanigans be going on in Memphis, Tennessee. But I wait a minute. I'm saying that's what people say. They say it is straight hood there. From my understanding, they stay on the first 48. <laughs> and but Child Moshe, so does Charlotte. Charlotte's always on the first 48. Too. We are, we are. But the Ice Queen, the white girl um named um Sherry, and then I don't know who the last girl is, but Dr. Jack was showing the last girl so much shade talking about she used to be in her practice, but she wasn't getting along with the other um with the other partner, so she went and started her own practice. And then Dr. Jacket was saying the girl come over and be borrowing all kind of utensils and all kind of shit. Like, how you a doctor and you going over to the other practice? Borrowing utensils. How you be borrowing utensils? Something wrong with that. Like, bitch, I hope you sterilize that shit before you take it over to the yard. Borrow them and go buy some but, at that place. Y'all, please, please watch the show. That show is so ghetto, it's ridiculous. I did a, like an informal recap last night. I saw that. Of it, and I was going back today to do a formal recap, but my DVR was messing up and I couldn't access my recordings. AT and T, honey, I'm expecting a twenty five dollar credit on my next month's bill because yes, y'all messing with my livelihood, yes, child. 25. But anyway, uh, the show is hilarious. You have to go see it. Please, please go see it. And I'm hopefully to you know I will be doing recaps and maybe Trey and I will talk about it um, here. Ooh. What's going on? I'm sorry, I didn't even know that she tweeted that. <laughs> what? Okay, are you done with that? Because I don't want to jump over. Yeah, this. yeah, 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 yeah. What? Okay, girl, what's T? Recently, like who is that? Don Richards. Exactly. We can't even tell that's really her. Like, okay, Don has had work done. She has bleached her skin. She has got a nose job. Well, and who she, is? And she's denied. That's Don from, from where? Kane. Show stop and it's oh. the little show. Right here, Don. Mm -hmm. Don, right there. That's when she before. That's before, and and that's after. But she tweeted. She looks like two totally different people. Exactly. 
Look at the nose. Nose done. Look at the complexion. Complexion yeah. done. To me, it didn't look like the she had some done eyes, like, too. Yeah. Like, she had a complete makeup. But she looked, she looked good before. But did I didn't it, even... Did it, did it. But I didn't even did notice it, that did she it. tweeted this right here. And it says, I guess I need to bleach my music, too. <laughs> Can I get a moment of silence? <laughs> I am floored. I am, I'm, you think I'm sitting in this chair? I'm not. I am literally on this floor. Like, I love Don. Mm -hmm. I love her for so many different reasons. Her voice is like so different, you know. But where do you hear her singing? She has a. She came out with an album recently. Her album actually came out recently. Separate from from Daddy. Daddy from Daddy Yeah. Didn't mm -hmm. was she on that train? I mean, <laughs> the last train to Paris, Paradise. Yeah. Per Parameter. Perimeter. What, what was that group? Daddy Decay. No. Her, Didi, and another girl. Oh, what I don't remember the other girl name. Oh, what oh. was the name of the group, though? Didi and the Girls. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, Don has completely looked different. If y'all do not, if y'all do not, if y'all do not, I mean, do not agree, please let me know. Because. Well, she looks different because she, I mean, there was a before or after picture. Right. That we just saw here. If you know who Don is and you know how she used to look, go for look at her on Twitter. Her Twitter name is Don Richard. So is she is she denying that she bleached? She was denying it. People were making comments on her Instagram and she was saying she did not have no work done, baby. She does look a little lighter, but she, child, everybody can photo um mm -mm. Photoshop she, pictures. She and had stuff a page like stitch now. with a whole bunch of different pictures, and every picture completely looked different. If you not if you if, okay, if you don't tell me she had bleach, her bleach, her skin bleach, she at least had a nose job. You can see the difference. Maybe in that it's nose. just the Photoshop. No. Mm -mm, they ain't no Photoshop did that, baby. That's 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 work. At least the nose. Mm. Yeah, the nose does look like it's a little contour. Yeah. Just a and shape. That, that ain't makeup that did bit. that because her nose was fat. So but, did um, you catch Rip the Runway? I did. I catch Rip the Runway. I, I didn't was, see it. I was occupied while watching Rip the Runway. Mm -hmm. um, somebody kept bothering me. Mm -hmm. But um, it was it was it was interesting. Jaden Smith. Um, premiered, you know, debuted or however you want to say his new clothing line, which is kind of weird to me because it's kind of dark and gothic. Um, most of the people had masks on or either like a scarf type thing covering their face. J Will and um, that family Jada need to put a muzzle on them damn children. <laughs> them some grown ass children. Yeah, they they are. are. They are a little too grown. They are. And, and after Jada, at, Jada to me gave me a little bit of Drake. Like he was just all over the stage. He was here, staring, staring. I looked like I was looking at a little Drake mm -hmm. perform. But after what I loved about Jaden's um, clothesline or either his performance was after he performed, his little sister oh, he walked sings out. Now? No, he rapped. Oh, he rapped. Okay. His little sister walked out there, or bigger sister. I guess it's his little sister. Yeah, mm -hmm. she walked through the, the 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 models were there, and she walked through them, and it's just like she walked the runaway. I said, "Well, then, girl, you need the you need the model." Those girls are going to be. I mean, that boy and that girl is going to be something else as they get older. Is she? No, no, don't do that. I, I'm not. I know. I knew what you was about to say. No, you not do that. Do that. Yes, I do. Okay. But I, anywho, I mean, they, they're growing up to be some very attractive kids. They but are. They are. Them kids was grown. They just been doing family too is much. attractive. Yeah, they're that, that, some that, fine ass people. Too. Yeah, that family is, that whole family is just like entrepreneurs. Like, I like his hair. Me too. It's I like cute. his hair. He raps, she sings, you know, the wheels. Are the, the he same. acts. Yep. And then the other brother, he plays sports. Sports. You know? and th isn't there a younger one too? I thought Willow was the youngest one. There's another one? I don't think she's the baby. I thought there was another one. But anywho. But they, their whole family paid. Right. Speaking of families, I do want to kind of change the subject just a little bit, and I think we're done after this. Um, read a story this past week that really, really hurt my heart. Um, on Thursday, and I'm reading this um, according to CNN.com, on last Thursday, the slain infant's mother, Sherry West, told police she was pushing her son in a stroller during the day when two males approached her. She said, a boy approached me and told me he wanted my money, and I told him I didn't have any money. And he said, give me your money, or I'm going to kill you, and I'm going to shoot your baby and kill your baby. And I said, I don't have any money, and don't kill my baby. Um, and then it goes on to say that, you know, there was a struggle. The teenager shot her. It grazed her head. I think he shot her in the leg. And then he walked around and shot the baby in the face, killing the infant. And, you know, it, it, it really disturbed me reading this story this past week, um, you know, that the, the violence really has to stop. It, it really has to stop. I don't, you know, I don't know what those young boys were thinking. I don't know if it was some type of gang initiation, um, but to intentionally you know, you knew what you were doing. You were cognizant of 
you know, the choice that you was about to make. You went around and shot an infant who didn't have anything to do with what was going on. And you shot the baby in the face and the baby died. That's just really, really sad. Um, and, and what even disturbs me even more was that the age of the boys, I think one of them was a 15 year old boy and he's not being identified because of his age. He's a juvenile. And of course, the 17, you know, um, boy was charged with murder last week. Um, Give him the chair. Next your chair. Well, you know, I don't know how I feel about taking a life, you know, as a result, you know, you nine for an eye. take a life, especially of an infant. But we don't have... We can't judge, you know, we don't have that authority. Um, in the end, you know, the, the, the authority, the decision belongs to I'm our not. Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. But, you know, I, I just think it's awful, you know, that the little baby just died over money that I don't even think they got anything out of the lady. Because she was telling them that she didn't have any it's money. Like, for me, it's like you, you, you now you left this lady alive. Yeah. And now she has to think about each and every day the right. fact that she does not have her infant. Mm -hmm. Right. For because, the rest of her life, right. you murder her son. I, I personally, and I, I may right. be wrong for saying this, I would have rather die right along with my infant. Just sit there and just think about each day. Yeah, because you have a son, right? Yeah. So. And it's just, it's just like, just thinking about that each day, it's like, I'm here without the child that I woke up with this morning. And I don't want to go out of the house. Yeah. Because I don't now, know what's going to happen. And now she has to watch this story develop. You know, he's probably going to be on trial for the next year and a half. What's and, you know, all kind of stuff. Georgia, right next door. We're right below us a little bit, a little south. So, my prayers to you. Mm -hmm. um, how do you even get a gun? 15 and 17? Child, guns are easy accessible. You can get a gun just like you can buy candy. I just need to stop. Get a gun just you can buy condoms. I walk around my knife now. What? I walk around my knife now. What that gonna do? I slice up mother real quick. I shoot bitches. Pow, pow, pow. <laughs> <laughs> That's just so wrong. I cannot believe I just said that. Yeah, we just talk about shoot people. I don't shoot people. I don't own a gun. But my prayers out, you know, lifted up, sending up a timber for you. I pray your strength as well as real that, you know, you recover. Um, you have that long, beautiful hair. I hate that he's going to possibly lose that, but it'll grow back even prettier. Yeah. Anything else? I think that's it. We touched everything i think we touched everything that's a week and a half worth so we'll be back we might even start recording a little bit more frequently as things start coming out follow me on twitter agent pisces again forever trey forever trey share the video comment let us know what you guys are thinking how we can improve it we love you guys see you guys next time Bye bye